shirts kind of disappear in there. What's up? Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Let's pull up the chat here. It's the first non-Batman game stream going on. Uh, I, know, I know some folks have expressed interest in, in playing this game. I know some folks have. Earl, what's up? Clutch, what's up? Welcome, folks. You guys can hear me. Thank you, Ian. All right, perfect. Because I turned off the um, party chat. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be a vocal assistance to my team, but that's all right. There's, te there's you know, you can uh, mark stuff on the map in this game. Kenneth, hey, thanks for watching from Mexico. Sam, good to see you. Scott Knight, welcome. Thanks for jumping in here, folks. All right, has, uh, raise your hand if you've played this yet, or, if you, or, or let me know if you haven't played it. Um, what should I? Okay, so let me check those settings again, make sure I do have mute microphone on for team. Okay. And the music in this game is so killer. Uh, I turned it down a little bit, but... Should we crank it back up a bit? Let's give a little boost. Alright, Ian hasn't played it. Clutch, you don't know what this game is about. It's based on the, the movies, Evil Dead. Sam hasn't played it yet. Earl, you're thinking about PS5? It's kind of nice, a fighting game fan. Alright. So, I don't know if anybody saw that Friday the 13th game from a few years back. This is very similar. There are a lot of extra complexities in the mix um, compared to that, which I think is going to be fun in the long run as far as like having more depth. But when I first started playing it, it I was fairly overwhelmed, and, and there was a big learning curve. And I, I, It's only been out two weeks. I've put a little bit of time in. I have... Well, I can show you here. So you can level up your characters individually. And I've been putting a lot of leveling up into Annie and uh, Cheryl. So they're different classes here. I haven't actually played as Ash hardly at all. I guess maybe I'm kind of just a contrarian and I like to choose some of the, like, I don't know, different characters. I kind of wanted to, ex you know, interested in just, like, seeing what the supporting players were all like and wanted to explore the different classes a bit. Plus, I like watching a, I like getting to watch a hot chick, you know. So, like when I played Friday the Thirteenth, I would play as the, uh, like the, is her name Tiffany? I think the uh, sex positive female character with very short shorts, and but I liked playing as her because she could run silently, she, she could sprint, and it wouldn't alarm Jason at all. So, uh, so her like repair was terrible, um, presumably because she was um, not a very bright young lady. Uh, but you could get around the map super fast and not alert Jason, and you could kind of like you could lone wolf even though you uh, you know just because you could get away fast. So <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so should we jump in? Artsy Bert, you're just watching the movies, seeing the movies for the first time. That's great. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you've definitely been missing out, but you're never too late. Never too late to jump in. <clears throat> okay, Scott and I, I haven't played Dead by Daylight, but I, from what I understand, this is kind of similar. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. I'm very excited about. Um, I, I do think, so, like, what you're going to see at the beginning of this, I'm going to try to set it up a little bit before we jump in. Um, I'll just get into the lobby. Um, so there's definitely, like, a lot of looting at the beginning of the match. Oh, just throughout the match. There's definitely a heavy looting component. It is, there's more, um, it's more complex than Friday the 13th looting, but, um, there, this is a much more action-heavy game than Friday the 13th is. You're, there's definitely running, but there's a lot of combat as well. So, um, 
So yeah, it's cool to see that Friday the 13th game. I absolutely loved it. Uh, heartbroken that really that it had to get had to die on the vine the way it did, or not on the you know die on the, not die on the vine, but uh, not get the long-term support that it deserved due to the um, legal issues. But, I mean, that company's making the Texas Chainsaw game. This is really dynamite. I think it has potential to have long legs. Plus, they're definitely not Ar Arkham combos, but the um, combat does have... So you got some, like, a light and a heavy swing, and then you, they, the enemies have a balance bar and can basically stagger. And when you activate that stagger move, uh, you're invincible. So uh, nobody can hit me if you're locked into that thing. So I'll just we'll just jump in and I'll try to explain what's happening as as we go through here, best I can. Uh, and I, you know what? I, I you can play it. This is like Friday the 13th where it's asymmetrical and one player is the demon. The Candarian demon, but uh, I haven't played as the demon yet. Something moving amongst the trees. So I'm gonna see what. What is everybody else doing? I know someone's out there. I heard. Sometimes I let other people get a chance to. Uh... Oh, these are all uh, really high-level characters in here. Can you can you guys still hear me? All right, now that I'm in here. Oh, I haven't watched Kenobi yet. I haven't watched Kenobi yet, but people are saying it's pretty, pretty killer, pretty dynamite. So I moved my, um, my video here over to, uh, to this upper right because I think I'll, co I'll be covering uh, the least amount of crucial on-screen information. I will be covering. Uh, all right, so we start off here. I might have a little bit of a muscle memory. Oh, we're going right to the cabin, guys. We started, we spawned right here. This is a great retreat. of the following instructions may yet dispel the spirit. The first step is to gather the pieces of a map that you'll find nearby. The map will reveal the location of the lost pages so, of Necronomicon and Kandarian. Kind of just grab what you can at first. Amulet is like a shield. There's different kinds of ammo based on the different weapons. This will do, I suppose. You're gonna want a um, a melee weapon and a ranged weapon. That's right, we're in, we're in here. There's a chainsaw in there, but my character can't use it. I'm playing as Annie from Evil Dead 2. I think I saw something glistening out here. No. So the looting thing is, you know, people really go very hard on looting when you first spawn, so there can be a bit of fighting for good stuff right off the bat. Okay, so my head is covering, but it says collect a piece of the map near frying pan tunnel. So what we want to do is go to the map. Frying pan tunnel is pretty close. Oh, we got, we got teammates already going over there. All right, and they've marked it, so I can see on my map. So your flashlight has a battery, it keeps your fear level from going up, but it has a battery. So I guess it's a little Five Nights at the Freddy's. Alright, my team is already picking stuff up. Stage one is picking up pieces of the map. There's three of them. They're scattered randomly. You get the hints at the top right um, where it's at, but then you got to go find. I'm going to loot a little bit and try to get some good stuff for can't use that. There we go, I'd rather have this revolver. <sighs> Refreshing and barrel. invigorating. How much ammo do I have? Not a, I'd rather go with the revolver. Okay, the next page, sewage treatment plant. My head's covering it. They already marked it. No, they're already on their way. They're good. See, this team's good. They were high level right at the get beginning, so... Um, let's see. You have a part two. 
Sure. And you can see the Lucky bottom there in the bottom middle of the screen, that four, that's what the demon level is at. So as the demon gets more power, they basically can do more. They have a bigger, wider variety of tricks. So what's the next one? Misery Manor. Oh, that's behind me. Let's see if I can't get a piece of this map here. I should turn on it, I think. Why isn't it lighting up on my, uh... Oh, it's near Misery Manor, so it's probably... This one. So there's a lot of stuff to uh, manage. You got your health, you have a shield that you activate with uh, amulets that you find. And you have your fear level. Did I say fear level? You have your stamina as well. And yeah, that can be a lot. Here's a piece of the map. This is Krush. The group now holds the final piece of the map. The I think it's a really brilliant uh, touch and to uh, dagger are within reach. My plan will only succeed with have the, the guy from the Professor Novi from the uh, movies as the narrator of the game and kind of he keeps track of where you're at. Right. So Shimp's Cola is health refill. Flashlight keeps your fear level from going up. If your fear level goes up too high, for one, the demon can see you, and uh, they can possess you if it gets too high. So you automatically pick up whatever ammo type of what you're holding in your hand, but you can also pick up extra ammo and stuff and help your teammates out. Oh, there's a sword that's the, one of the better Insane. melee That's weapons. Okay. So where's the team going now? Now that you get the three pieces of the map, now there's two points that are highlighted. One is the Kandarian dagger, and one is the pages of the book. So we gotta go get those, and those are like... Oh, those are like timed events, you gotta kind of hold your ground. And then once you get those two items, then it's all onto the end game, which is going um, to this big sort of battle with the dark one. Right, I got some teammates over here, I don't know what they're up to. Demon can, you just saw my fear level just spiked big time. Uh, they can jump scare you. The, the demon can do a thing where it creates that thing on your uh, screen, a big jump scare. Which is it's really funny. So I'm standing by this fire here, hoping my fear will go down a bit. Standing next to a light source will make your fear level go down. Okay, and now, now they're gonna. She's gonna activate healing because she's a healer. 
survivors have triggered collection. So you can see I hit that first attack and that little icon that says R3 clicks up. That's because I have a really high oh man, it's a spit bomb. I have a really high stack. So I can oh god man, he's making this puke. On the shield. Oh, see that red guy? That means that uh, the demon player has possessed the specific character. Oh, come on. Sometimes it's smart to like get locked into that um, attack thing. Oh shit! See, he just possessed my teammate. Our other guy. Woo. Oh god, he's spawning the boss already. We're in trouble here. Henrietta is a beast. Healer revived. Yeah. Damn it. Henrietta. It's pretty intense. And we're playing pretty sloppy. So. Ah, oh, screwed. Man. Hey, where's our other player? Where's, uh... Where's Pathetic... Dude who's on a lone wolf mish over there by himself. Although I guess if he holds his ground, maybe he's trying the other thing. If he does that, we all get resurrected. I see Cheryl's staying, staying alive. You have no. this. It can't end this way. I, mean, I guess the old dude's um, holding it down with the other projector. We're in trouble here. Let's see, now we yeah. So this person's playing as a healer, meaning they can do a lot of support, but are not very strong. So they have a ton of health, but it takes way longer to incapacitate their souls. Oh my God. Is the audio really loud on you guys? For you guys? See, so we're toast. Oh, that other guy completed that objective, and we all got automatically exceeding my expectations. Uh, resurrected. So, you know what? I take it back. I was pissed. My flashlight's about toast. All right, so going back to that objective again. God, good luck. I'm, I got no ammo. I got anything in here? Jeez Louise, I'm hurt now. See that guy? Just I was pretty good with like uh, healing and stuff, uh, but. Totally, the demon drained me completely. Hopefully, I find something in my flashlight's toast here, too. No, I don't need the slushy or any of this. I need a gun, though, because I'm. Alright. 
Alright, they're going back to the objective. <laughs> Well, I'll play my other way. I mean, my team is better than I Your team now holds the Kendarian Dagger, an ancient weapon carved from human bone. Oh. Both the Lost Pages and the Kendarian Dagger have been collected. Now. Prepare yourself to battle the Dark Ones. Wow. Alright, we get we made it through that incredibly. Pretty much pretty sure everybody else on the team is like maxed out their player levels. So now, yeah, we're heading to the end game here. Definitely want to. Watch your map. I'm watching. camera can get pretty messed up. So, I'm gonna take this person to a, an altar and resurrect them. Hopefully I can do this before. Pretty soon the uh, storm is gonna start encroaching, you know, that circle. <laughs> sticks to start a fire, but the fire will make you see my purple bar going down there in the bottom left. Oh, they're in trouble over there, man. Bleeding out. God. Yep, 
see my fear meter is creeping up. And I got no matchsticks. In big trouble here. It's gonna be a tense. Oh, I'm possessed. See, he's gonna run me toward the He's gonna run me toward the edge. Toward the storm. My teammate's gonna leave me to die. Woo! Oh, that was, that was, oh god, the freaking boss. See how I keep trying to activate that? Uh, R3 thing as fast as I can. And we're in trouble, folks. So this is, uh, this is the bad guys here. Let's see if we can get this house maybe. Oh. Uh, or my partner is uh, possessed. No, it can't end this way. Save me. Oh, thanks for handling those bots. Scott Knight didn't even handle those. Scott Knight, my uh, uh, PSN name is Josh from before, all one word. Black Mantle, this is not the same guys, but the, I guess the same guys that made <clears throat> Friday the 13th are making a Texas are Chainsaw game. Unmistakable. Oh man. Do not blame yourself. So the Demon won, I mean... <clears throat> I am responsible for the fall. We got to the very end, uh, like end game basically, and the Demon won. That's just, that, that's how it can go. It was, you know, it's still pretty... Like we got to the very end and, and got killed there. Can't, can't be too mad about it. The Demon played really well. Yo, legend. What's up, Black Mantle? Thanks, thanks for the. Uh, the I'm glad you appreciate the Batmo Beast. Check out that video. If you haven't seen it already, uh, leave a like while you're here. Right? It's something you're supposed to say. Uh, yeah, the demon did good. I, I can't believe I did last. Kind of a. Lo it felt like a low scoring game in general. Um, and let's see. You can see the uh, breakdown is pretty comprehensive. Uh. So you can see here, uh, in third place, it was playing as the healer, and they have uh, they had the highest on the healing given. Um, yeah, I was talking shit about uh, the other guy that got first, but he actually kept us in the game because those at that point where where I got killed, we were doing one of the objectives, one of two, and you can actually if you're really high level kind of uh, baller you can your team can split up and act activate both and you kind of have an advantage because the demon uh, that's a solo player you know what I mean they're there uh, you can't he can't split his attention between the two objectives uh, and then so we go on to this point uh, where I get a top right up there is my like overall level um, but then I also get this thing called spirit points which you can use on any character you get points for the character you just played as. You get points for uh, that you can spend on whoever you want. So let's go to that. Kendo, what's up? Kendo, you got a, a brief reprieve from being out of town. So let's see here. So I just, um, Annie got a, an extra skill point to put here. Every character like this has this skill tree, but not all of the little, uh, uh the, the trees are different, basically, based on what kind of character you play as and what their, uh, th uh, 
skills are, what their specific skills are, and then over on the left, far left here, you can see, these are your, um, kind of aura effects, you know, like the healer one would have one that heals everybody, whereas this character, Annie, would, uh, have, has an effect that makes everybody's ranged weapons stronger for a period of time, you know, and those have cooldowns, but as you level up, you see here, these open up at set number of levels. 25 is the highest character level, I think. Um, whereas, yeah, see that stack, the balance bar, that's that stagger damage I was talking about. Legend, this is PS4. I'm playing on PS4, but um, there is crossplay. Uh, I should spin my point. What do I want? Um, and see, I've been putting, yeah, here we go. I think that's a pretty good one. Um, this character, one of the, the one of the okay, this character's weaknesses is she gets scared faster. So you can do these specific uh, ones here. Oop. And uh, I've I, I've been compensating like the characters I've been leveling up. I've been trying to compensate for their weaknesses a lot. And one of Annie's here is just the fear. So I think I'm gonna max that one out. And then what's cool is you could take these off just individually. You know, see, I can remove that one, put it back, you know, put it somewhere else, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, do I want to put any more? Let's, yeah. See, I'm spinning those spirit points where I, right where my head's at, right here. And then look at the level down below as I spin those. Balance bar damage is pretty nice because, like I said, that uh, that stagger move when you can get locked into invincible frames, basically, it keeps you from getting overwhelmed. Stamina is pretty good. Stamina cost is pretty good, but. this on. What's this one? Reduces the amount of damage you receive. That's not bad either. But really, getting this um, stagger bar up, especially like on bosses and like higher level, because <clears throat> the demon can basically, they can spawn regular enemies as their level gets higher. They can spawn elite enemies. Eventually they can spawn a boss. So, um, I mean, I guess as you can see, as I'm trying to describe this as much as I can, it's pretty complex. And you can go in there and, you know, it's, it's fairly simple and straightforward, but there's just all these complex modifiers. Um, you know, I... I when I, like I said, when I first started playing this, I, it was a little overwhelming, and I was like, man, this may just be a little too complex, more complex than I wanted. Certainly way more complex than Friday the 13th. But, um, and, and part of my, my, my um, thinking of that was, I also have that, uh, the Evil Dead 2 tabletop game, you know, like the, um, like the board game. And man, that thing is so complicated. I've, I haven't, we haven't even played it once because it's just like, man, I don't want to. I, I can barely keep track of all of these rules, let alone hold a group of friends hostage trying to explain it to them. You know what I mean? So the you can there's every Ash. Obviously, as you can see, I'm playing with a whole team of Ashes, playing with uh, one, two, and Army of Darkness, and they are different classes. Sakuragi, what's up? Kendo, you got, um, what are those Black Series Star Wars? Um, or is that Vintage? Collection. 
Sakuragi, you haven't heard of this game. Have you? Uh, are you aware? Are you familiar with the Evil Dead movies? I have. I, I've, I've just. You know, this game's been out a couple of weeks, so I keep my like fingers on the pol pulse, just seeing like what people are saying about it, like on Reddit and YouTube and stuff. I get and try and get tips for playing better, you know, because there was so much to uh, take in when I first started playing. And I've seen people saying that, like, man, I didn't, I didn't know anything about the Evil Dead movies or anything, but this game is cool as hell. What is um what con is going on right now? I keep seeing reveals of stuff, you know, hot toys, a lot of sideshow stuff. They they showed those really cool like sort of um samurai um like that samurai Boba Fett in the throne room. Looks really freaking cool, man. Really cool. I saw a bunch of Star Wars, yeah, sideshow stuff. Finner, what's up? I'm about to jump in here into this game. Megacon is what... Oh, and Celebration. Okay, Ian, thank you. Right, that, but that's what I was thinking of, I think. Yeah, that would explain why every all those reveals I'm seeing were Star Wars. Yes. Thank you. Anybody ever been to Star Wars Celebration? We... Uh, I'm in Indianapolis. We used to host it, I think, for the first two or three years. I can't remember. That was around prequel time when that first started, right? This game is taking a long time to load, huh? My head's my head's getting cut off, isn't it? Oh, they're back. The bots are back. are back. Ah, the session was canceled. Okay, no, no wonder that was taken I haven't had too many issues with the matchmaking, but um, I've been hearing, and I do have crossplay on, um, I've been hearing people take say the um, playing as a demon takes a while to find a match. People are waiting 10 minutes or more sometimes. That's part of the reason I think Something I haven't actually. Is out there. Something that forced its way. Um, to the king, baby. Who, who are we? Um, Stay police. If you're dead. I thought I could hide. What a joke. I'll play as the healer this time. I gotta get out of here. Nothing's gonna stop. Have at least one healer on the team. Oh, you so, um Oh, you're fine, Skunite. Thanks for t handling that. Thanks for taking care of it. Um You'll see some players choose characters that I don't even have unlocked. This like the again like the Friday the 13th game. There are some solo missions and I think all of them unlock a playable character. So there's if you watch the show, Amanda Fisher, uh the that like uh detective or that agent and Pablo and um, oh shit I just spawned right by the freaking see this is part of what happens is you end up spawning right at the end of the map so I spawned again right by the Nobi cabin which is you know I gotta go there first if you folks are watching it contains the location of the items required to fans of the movie can appreciate it Oh, and the map's in here, too. We're going through the front door. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't even have a weapon yet. It's you and me now. Oh. Yeah, 
mean, that's why we got freaking spawned by the, uh... This might be too much fun for me. Your group has found the first hidden piece of the map. Keep moving and find another. Can. Alright, it looks like they're already calling out the next spot. Bronson Cave. Oh god. You can see they take a ton of damage when, um, when they're possessed by the demon player. Man, he sucks. He sees us already. See, now he's setting traps. Oh god, he's possessing this guy now. He's gonna waste my damn ammo. I just turned on my healing. You know, I'm trying to help this character. Get Officer requested ammunition. Back to life. Oh, the Amanda Fisher's got a lot of Stop! You're shooting me! I'm hit! Don't shoot me! Oh, I think I pissed somebody off. They're trying to get out of the handgun with ammo. And I kept taking it. <laughs> Oops. Here, come back. I'll give you this ammo. I can drop it. Alright, let me go find this. Um, let me go try to um, help this person here. I'll give it to her over here. I shouldn't have too many more of those. Alright. Your Trying group to now holds an additional piece of the map. We well They're played. Who's bleeding out? Oh, I'll go. All right, I'm, I'm I'm playing as a healer and I'm like lone wolf and I need to stick with these folks. I'm messing up. <laughs> oh, got me. right now is I'm just trying to stay in those invincibility moves. And then the guy can't attack me. So you can see how I can get kind of better. Now he's really coming after me. With the final piece of the map in your possession, only the demon stands between you and the necessary ritual items. The lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kanzarian Devil. 
I think that's gonna waste a bunch of... Whoa, God, come on, man. It... Dude, this guy going after me like freaking crazy. <clears throat> That's what I get for going lone wolf. Being a good teammate. Oh, Ash in trouble. Alright. Where's the other Ash? Awaken the lost pages of the Necronomicon. Stay close and hold your position. My fear levels through the roof. So now we can get in the car here, and this is going to. The demon can see you if you're in the car. That's the uh, drawback. And the demon can possess the car, they can attack you. If they possess the car, you have to get out of it. They can like try to run over you and shit. Somebody else is driving right now. So we're going to this objective. Man, my fear level is bananas. Can I run back here to this? Oh god. Well, I guess I, I was gonna try to get my fear level. Now, but I'll go over here. And try to help my team. Maybe there's some. Areas over here. The survivors have begun to collect the lost pages of the Necronomicon. Be vigilant. Spirits of the book will stop at nothing to halt this process. Oh, he's got the boss already? See how I went in to attack that guy? The uh, boss couldn't hit me. And that my that counter is going down in the bottom. That's what that's my aura healing, and I need to use that as soon as I can. Uh, this guy's stuck in the ground? Powerful artifacts in our world. Or is he alive? Not your hero. I'm, I'm supposed no. to use this? People 
was stuck in the ground or what? What's happening? Uh, let's see. This is for real. <laughs> this guy really stuck in the ground. Alright, we're going to the next objective. <laughs> what is happening in this game? Classic Predator, what's up? Yeah, Finner, this is definitely very similar to Friday the 13th. Uh, obviously, more combat is kind of the, one of the bigger differences. The map is huge. The map is really big, which is kind of surprising. Not letting up. I'm not letting up. I've kind of any illusion. But I don't really want to get too far from my team either. We're powering through, folks. They're driving. I'm not driving. So I don't want to drive. He's flossing, huh? That ringing sound that, that spikes up when you get uh, your fear level but big time. Do I have some? We lost one of our packs. We're that was for you, Jack. Oh yeah. The pink F you give yourself permanent upgrades. guys are hurting too, man. One teammate's dead. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that guy just possessed the tree. Did you see that? They can possess, possess the trees. Oh my god, and now he's possessed too. This demon player is brutal, dude. Look at this. He's wrecking us. My last teammate's about to go down. Oh, that was it. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. Can I watch this guy? Oh, the boss is just. Dude. Wrecked us. Absolutely wrecked us. I was. I was not a I got second though. Sorry for the devastation. And I got what three quarters of the to close score the that I got last time. So I guess I played alright. It is simply the end. Not bad, not bad. We haven't we haven't won a match yet, right? We played two games. I think the, as when I've played and I played, I've gotten a lot better since I started playing. I played with good players, played with lousy ones. I think I think we win less than half the time, frankly. I I that character I was playing as I, I gravitated toward her at the beginning as a healer and wanted to kind of because they were saying yeah she's actually kind of OP because she's can stay alive for a long time. So I went hard on that character leveling them up. Um, Cheryl, but I'm starting to dig Annie more and more. I tried to play as Kelly for a while, but man, she's a um, hunter, which is, I think, um, what's level 10? 
A ranged weapon specialist. Next range attack after a successful dodge inflicts bleeding. Mm hmm. So I could level her up one more and get to that new unlock. Damage of range. Well, let's see. All right. Unlock that skill. And another skill point. What should we do here? See, that's another one where I put a bunch of the fear upgrade, fear perks. Uh, fear amulet's good. See her. I get wrecked so fast. Increases maximum stamina. That's not bad. Stamina cost of dodging is not bad. Either. Range movements. Oh, yeah, maybe I can oh, balance bar. No, I'm doing fear. Turn the fear down. It's kind of, I saw, I've only seen that, just that image of, I, I, don't, I haven't seen, is there a trailer for that? That uh, creepy Winnie the Pooh? Alright, we're playing this next game as Kelly. Uh, you know what? Let's, before we play this next match, let's take a little bit of a break, huh? Give me a second here. So, what about you guys? Horror, horror fans out there? I know there are definitely some of you, but... So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a qu quick little break here. Give me like five minutes. Um, while I'm gone, excuse me. While I said wait, let me know um, what kind of horror movies you're into, uh, and if you're a fan of Evil Dead, right? And I'm gonna type a quick message, just in case anybody jumps in. Just in case anybody jumps on. Be right back. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm gonna step away. Give me five minutes, folks, and we are gonna you know, we'll jump back in, kill some more deadites.
I am back. Ian, you love The Witch by Robert Eggers. That is a that's a great movie. Um, <clears throat> we just saw The Northman. Excuse me. We just saw The Northman, uh, which is really good. Probably my least favorite of his. The Lighthouse is great as well. If you like The Witch, Ian, uh, have you seen the the new new-ish uh, remake of Suspiria? That is an incredible movie. Incredible movie. Uh, one of my favorite movies of the last few years. And frankly, it's a little like... Um, I love the original. I was a little not sure about this new one. It's a little artsy-fartsy. You know, which I, it tends to be a little... Pretentious. But that movie, just incredible, you complex and uh, amazing. Sam Tao, you're speaking my language. The Thing and Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead 2 is my, I think, my favorite movie of all time, really. Uh, and then The Thing is, is up there. It's in my top five. Scott Knight, you're a Hellraiser fan. I love Hellraiser, man. I, Clive Barker is just incredible. Incredible uh, talent, man. Writer, artist. What a what a genius, man. Freddy. Yeah, Freddy and the 80s slashers, old black and white horror movies. That's good stuff, too. Okay. So we're going to jump into here. We're, I want to play as Kelly, uh, who I just leveled up. And um, I guess here's... So so this character is a ranged specialist, right? But, man, at the beginning of the match and stuff, it, it gets so frantic with everybody looting and stuff. It can, and it can be hard to just, like... And could, even if you're a ranged specialist, you still gotta find a melee weapon. You wanna find healing items, so it can be uh, you can count on my uh, boys. Uh, difficult. Me. Although, actually, if I'm playing, these people seem low level, so they might not way. be as savvy. Um, I appreciate the vote of confidence. See, they got uh, somebody here is pa Pablo, um, so they're probably pretty Housework. good because they unlocked Pablo. When Which I have defeated. He's a healer, so as long as there's a healer on the team. A bloody end awaits the fiends who cross my path. Associate Professor of Ancient History, Ed Getley. Ready for action. You know, we got. I have a. We have some um, cool art in the house. I'll have to post it sometime. I got. But I, speaking of that Suspiria remake, I have a cool Mondo poster. Don't normally go after those very expensive, uh, very hard to get Mondo posters, but that Suspiria one, uh, I got. And I have a. a well, my favorite uh, piece of art in the house is probably this Evil Dead Two poster that I have. Uh, from a place called the Silver Bow Gallery. This is Professor Raymond Noby. Okay, so we're History will reflect that I am the wretched soul responsible for awakening a Kandarian demon. Again, okay, here's a crate that has it has all this stuff in it, and um, you want to mark it for your uh, allies. I have hidden several pieces of a map nearby. Collect them to reveal the location. Because uh, the stuff that pops out, everybody can can grab it. It's not like it doesn't disappear like the other loot. Um, I'm running this direction because none of my other teammates are, and I'm just trying to find a place where I can get some loot without being uh, pounced on by every on my other teammates. Not trying to lone wolf it. This place is empty. Come on. Some, uh, 
long gun ammo for this guy. Yo! I marked a spot on the map, so you know it's good. Yeah, he grabbed it. See, team player. Your team has looked Somebody's already got pages. Alright, we got we got Solid people playing step. pretty well here. Here's another maybe place to loot over here. The team's playing alright. We're only a couple minutes in. I can take my time here. I got another player right by me. Um I hooked him up with some stuff. So So they're near El Brujo's hut, it looks like. Is that where, um, yeah. Which we're right by here, so. We can go search this pretty easily. My fear is staying down pretty well here, it seems like. So the spear is a terrible weapon. Definitely would like a better melee weapon. Yeah, so uh, yeah, my fear is staying pretty low here. Um, I'm coming back to this house because it says the map is near. But when I get within range, it'll give me a prong, so. When it says near El Brujo's hut, this whole part of the map is kind of... Oh, see, there it is. The survivors have collected another portion of the map. An admirable effort, but there is still much to be done. Alright. <clears throat> We're doing pretty good. Demons at level 5, that's pretty low. on farm. So we need to go here. Dude, I don't mark stuff on the map unless it's worth your time. Right. This ash is Uh oh. That flute player. The, the flute player when the demon spawns a flute player It uh, levels up all the, uh, the uh, the doo doo blue player levels up all the other uh, spawned enemies. So he can really do some damage if you don't dispatch him right away. Do you hear the two? There's definitely, uh, you can tell, some glitchiness that happens when. Uh, Multiple enemies or multiple players are going after the same guy. Wanna mess with me and my friends? 
The animations are all really great. Um, there aren't a ton of... Oh, my, my fear's going up pretty high. Like, it's the same animations for every character, you know? I'm also, if you haven't noticed, I'm trying to wait to use my gun as long as I can. For one, to conserve ammo, but the uh, demon player can hear it too. Your level go down a bit, and then we're going near Faison Farm. Ash is out here looking for it. I can trust him. See what I that what that other player I was using, Annie. She's got some dope. The final um, piece has been collected. Perks on the, the skill tree that are like uh, revealing the whereabouts of the Kandarian dagger and the lost pages of the Necronomicon. Making the fe your fear level go down way faster. Kelly doesn't have. Mm. The sugar is making my teeth tingle. Turn up health. Turn up range. Turn up fear. Turn. Why people drink this by choice, I'll never know. Alright, so where are we going to next? See how big this freaking map is, though? I mean, it makes the. Uh... Friday the 13th map is left behind. Oh, this is what you get. 
It's another spear. <laughs> I look forever to find another one. And it's another one of the most useless things. Great. Just swell. Whatever. Oh, this other, the other team's losing their butts, their brains. Let me go to this one or the freaking house, man. I'm gonna find it there. Great. Now I can see how bad things actually are. Dagger is nearly yours. Summon your courage and stay close. Come on, man. This is how we do it in Michigan. This is how we do it in Michigan. Oh my God! Please. Miserable. What a crock. Well, I guess I better go help my freaking Get team. Gosh. Oh, stupid spear. Somebody's already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is what happens. Walk away. of the Kandarian dagger. Many have perished protecting this artifact. Where are the kids here? the horse.
on the road this time. I think the um, time when it goes off once you get to the end game, I can't remember that. Oh yeah, sledgehammer much better. the lost pages, striking terror into the black heart of evil. Expect resistance. They play prioritize the regular. Are we all out? Damn. 
See? You get so far into a game and then it's just over. Just like that. Fong man, what's up? Ian, hey, thanks for hanging out. Hey, I got six you looks, feel to seal the First name, how's it going? I fear there is nothing more to say. Man, that's, see, that's three losses. <clears throat> and we're playing all three games. We're playing pretty decent. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, I mean, see, this guy that got first, he was annihilating. Lowest score, lowest personal score so far. But I, I felt better about. Um, I was trying to be more specifically a ranged weapon user. And that was it was working out pretty well. But you need a powerhouse. Those bosses are just. Whew. Let's throw some more stuff at Annie. Try to get her level up. Cause what is her? Her level 25 is, yeah, the balance bar, the the stagger. Oh, um, so <clears throat> I don't know if you guys uh, heard CMD Store. If, if you've ever used it before, I know many people have used CMDStore.com in the past. Uh, I just ordered. They have in stock and shipping. You ready for this? Red Robin, Ghostmaker, Hush, and the Hush 2-pack. In stock and shipping, you gotta pay a little more because it's a CMD store, and you gotta pay for the shipping. But pretty good. All right. But maybe I'll try to get it. Uh, should I see if I can get an Ash game in? My Ashes are low level, is the thing. We'll see what happens. We'll see what. What the rest of the team picks out. Let's give everybody else another shot. A first chance. I can't tell. One thing I don't know is how many maps there are overall. Shows up, it blows up. What are you guys yeah, trying to pick? Still working on that. Should I be uh, Army of Darkness this Ash? Be the most significant find of my career. Or should I be Ranged Ash? Good. Let's do Army of Darkness. Ash. I'm the guy with the gun. Who's a warrior? So his he's gonna be a um, melee weapon specialist, right? Yeah. So my yeah my ashes aren't as high level as everything else. Uh, we got somebody that needs to choose a character. Just choose one, bro. Uh. Yeah, and there's an you can see there's an ash in every class. Uh, the leader, who is you know kind of a well-rounded person, and then they have big um, aura like boosts like um, what do you yeah, call I'm it when flattered. they uh, now let's kick some evil ass when you can boost your teammates' stats. Buffs, buffs was the word I was looking for. I love the loading thing uh, icon with the chainsaw that gets more bloody. <coughs> it's very amusing. It's a great little attention to detail there. This is Professor Raymond Noby. And so, um, maybe if you didn't, if you hadn't, amends for the evil I have unleashed, but noticed I you can. Spread. If you're hearing this, the, the demon has different uh, demons they can choose it to be. The first thing you will require is a map to the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. The pieces of this map are hidden nearby. I'm just running toward the, uh... The closest house that not everyone else is gonna go for. See a shoddy and an axe? Alright. This is some real ash stuff right here.
this please. Sword, baby, yeah. What am I going to level up now? Probably fear is a good one. I think fear is always a good one to start with, so we need to go to bluff. Um, depending on which character you've got, if they're pretty sensitive to fear. I haven't played with this Ash much, but I noticed when I was running through the... Oh, these guys are already going there. They're on it. I noticed when I first started running through the woods, his fear was going up a little bit more than... The first See, piece of the map has been found. Continue and find the next. Might as well run down the street a little bit. Terminal station. Alright, I'll make my way there. I mean that jerk though. Separate from everybody. That team player. I'm just trying to get stocked up, right? The game just started. I trust my team to not get in any trouble where they need my help desperately within the first few minutes of the game. Bit of faith in them, right? Oh, here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> this paid off. I got the chainsaw. And we're going to Terminal Station. Can I mark that on my map? Where it is? These guys are already on it. See? Oh, what do we got here? Oh, shit. Yeah, see, you can see how much stronger it has. Just annihilated that guy. Who's who else? But then another guy. My other teammates were all on their way down there, so I'm trusting that they can. I'm gonna save my light swords right here. Stick with my teammate. I'm pretty stocked up. Yeah, I mean, Ash with a chainsaw. He's just gonna annihilate guys. Makes sense. Huh. It's really not too bad. Oh, this guy's on a crate. Audrey! That's more my style. Alright, he's getting a crossbow. Now where are we going? Terminal Station, where are these guys? Wait, I thought they were down there. Arrows are coming. I mean, is that is the team gonna get that freaking piece of the map, guys? Come on. Are they doing this out of spite? Are they working with the freaking guy or what? Seriously, why have these guys not? Oh, now they find another found. piece of the map has been collected. All right, now we're talking. Your Jeez, group is please. making progress against the dark. Spirit. The demon's only level two, though. This guy's not playing very well, so 
let's do this. Sewage treatment plant. I gotta get a fire going, but this ash gets a little spooked. Heads up! Look at this. Sewage treatment plant. See, where's this? Sewage treatment plant. Oh, Scotty's going to. He's on. See? See, Scotty's going. Or is that Ed? I always can. It's Ed. It's the you have the final piece of the map. Revealing the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian right, so Dragon. where is it? They are key to your success. 490. Let's go to this one first. Where's the other? Way up there? Yeah, we're going to this one first. Uh, folks, you're going to want to take a look at this. Let's go, baby. Who just made the growling noises? Run over your tail between your legs. Go cry to mama. Let's do this with the lights on. Necronomicon have been activated. Steal yourself for battle. Yeah, I'm gonna steal myself for battle. I'm gonna start a little fire here so I don't get scaled. Oh no, my, my fear's alright. Alright. How's the demon still only at level 2? Ha! The other, our other teammate is, uh, do, is completing the other objective right now. Yeah. Why are we Now hold the lost pages of the Necronomicon. A world is a step closer to Cyrus. Yeah, yeah, crate blue tree. Yeah. I'm spending my points. Oh, we're gonna be so power going to this. Where is it? Where's the final? Oh, yeah, let me get in the car. Three ashes in the car. Let's go. 
Oh, it's forever across the map. See, it's 500 yards away. Oh, we're in the pit. See, like this location right here, this part of the map is definitely one from the show, um, from Ash vs. Evil Dead. It's like El Brujo's hut, I think, or something like that. Or maybe that wasn't El Brujo's. It's definitely from the show. I think. Um, but there are quite a few different. Um, locations from all the movies, but I think what's in the works is like for a DLC down the road is the uh, castle can can from uh, Arkham. which will be a full on like medieval castle. There is um, that castle Kandar is in. Uh, one of the Starting to slip. solo missions. So the whole level is entirely medieval. And you do like go in that pit and fight that creature like uh, that he fights that hag in the uh, pit of uh, Army of Darkness. Might as well start a little fire here. To have obtained the Kandarian Dagger. Legendary artifact with power to burn Oh, he already got flesh. the thing. Alright, well, now we gotta go... Should have even gone this far across the map. Your team has retrieved the lost pages and the Kandarian dagger. Use them to put an end to the Dark One's reign of terror. This guy started a fire without me. Dang it! I think I can make this work. Oh, they're killing me. Found more of these. This Ash does not have a lot of stamina. I got the chainsaw hand, I don't even need to use my gun. Yeah, so this hash is definitely low stamina. So 
the, the demon has a chance to destroy the book here in this final thing. If he, you know, generates enough soldiers, you know, and, and he gives away here and just start hacking away at this thing. Of course, the timer runs out. Did that take four, right? Four matches. Oh, bots are back. Scott Knight, the bot killer. Really? Wow. Dude, I was battling in there, and Scott Knight was battling hopefully the bots. Knowing that bot if you're hearing my voice. Thank you, Scott Knight. You yeah, see, I mean, you, that's, this is part of the reason why I don't play as um, world. as I, you know, Ash, it kind of being the obvious choice of who to play as, and there being four different Ashes. When I just play as the conventional sort of uh, warrior, whether it's a melee or ranged, I end up here in uh, dead last. Right. So I think. I'm gonna, uh, I think we should take another short break here in a moment. Let's, uh, what do we do here? Where we unlock? Ash leveled up. We unlock a skill point. What kind of skills does Ash have? Stamina, dodging, that's pretty good. Stamina seems like a pretty good one for Ash. I'm gonna think I'll just do a experiment. And yes, I think I'm thinking I'm gonna take a, a short break. Just give me five moments. Five moments, please. And I'll be back. We'll keep we'll keep killing some of these dudes. And I think I'll probably go back to Annie, right? Do I have any points? Does she? Uh, yeah, she's real close to the next level. There we go. One more to use, and it'll be... Um, stamina cost is pretty good. Although, it's, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep going on, because I think this character is meant to have that, that like, her max to, maximum stuff is this stuff about the hitting that stagger bar, you know? So I think I'll favor that kind of stuff. Puppyplex, what's up? Hey, Sky Knight, thanks for hanging out. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a five minute break. I'll be right back. I'll just type it here in the chat too, just so. I'll be back momentarily. And I think we can get a couple more games in. back. Back. Let me pull the chat back up. Alright. Alright, let's get back into it. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Games in. Oh, actually, yeah, while I have this pulled up, you can see here the different types of demons. You can be the Warlord, which summons um, Henrietta from Evil Dead 2. The Puppeteer is Elagos from the uh, from Ash vs. Evil Dead. And the Necromancer is uh, Evil Ash from Army of Darkness. And they all have different kind of uh, specialties, too. So, the same way you can level up all the survivor uh, characters. The demon has a ton of uh, stuff, you know, that they can put their uh, skill point, experience points into. Now 
to the king, baby. My father started this. I'm going to end it. Annie. I know someone's out there. I heard you down in the cellar. You gotta keep thinking. What would Ash do? Two healers. Oh man, I don't know. Two healers. That's probably that's probably good. Listen closely. This is Professor Raymond Noby, Department of Ancient History. I know now that nothing I can do, remedy the atrocity I have unleashed, but I believe I can stop it. Follow these instructions. I found a already. Tell you. Heads up. Look at this. I've drawn a map and split it into pieces to hide them from the demon. Thank Gather you. the pieces oh. to find the location of the Kandarian dagger and the lost pages of the Necronomicon. I need to uh, be more. Uh, okay, Lucky Valley Lodge. But yeah, be between wanting to get a good melee and ranged weapon, are you? Uh, And healing stuff. It can be a scramble at the beginning. But we have two healers and the... Um, some of the... Healing, the support class characters can... Um, you now hold the first piece of my map. Like when they use Small healing items, everybody else gets forward. a little bit of it too, so... Stack the shields. I'm supposed to use this? Now we're going to green something something. Greenwich Village. Alright, so we marked it already. Nope. So much stuff to keep track of when you're playing. Your health, your fear, your stamina, your flashlight, your items, and then the other players as well. Surprisingly tasty and energizing. Now holds oh, another piece of the map. Keep it close and continue. He's on it. Stay with this guy. Plus he's a healer too, so he knows what's up. There's some serious evil over there.
I'll shoot. All right, where are we going? The Nobi house. Oh, I'm not paying attention. See, he's pretty tough. Got way better stamina than that Ash. Obviously, that Ash is a beast, but that that I was playing with that Ash at level three, and this Annie is nineteen, I think. I do always get a little jealous of whoever uh, gets to go to the actual cabin first, you know. Yeah, Puppyplex. This just came out a couple weeks ago. And just based on what I've seen um, playing it myself, and other people playing, I think it's got uh, some longevity in it. And uh, just even, it's only been out for two weeks, and um, already they've put one patch out, which is great. Heroic survivors have gathered the final piece of the map. Make haste to the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian deck. You don't you don't spawn the flutist when you don't have very many enemies though, you know what I mean? That's Okay. Let's go toward the objective. Going through the woods, no flashlight, how's my fear?
group has begun to collect the Gendarian dagger, initiating oh, a period yeah. of battle against it. the dead. Remain close to your shield. Eight. Oh, see, he sees one's a blue guy. He barely has any guys on. Him. Not there yet, bro. Although, yeah, see, this guy's a bigger elite unit. starting to get, you know, uh, yeah, his level's going up higher. The more enemies he spawns, you know, the higher his level goes up. He, the demon, like, roams around the map, just sort of like a first-person demon camera, you know, like, like, you see the demon's point of view and the evil that moves. And they fly around, they absorb all this energy and to spawn traps, create spawns for the Soldiers. And the survivors have taken the Kandarian dagger. This weapon is key to evil's demise. Tree scare is will make your uh, fear level skyrocket. That's the point of the demon, though, is to just uh, refreshing and invigorating. Punk the uh, survivors. Alright, we gotta get all the way across this damn map. Make note of this spot. We got a car? There we go. He's got a car. Alright, we're on our way. Lawson! Keep it on four wheels. Yeah, yeah. yeah this guy's killing it. Killing it. Oh, yeah. No, what's up? Oh, the car got possessed. I think that's the first time we've seen that happen. Yeah, he gave me one. Go gang. Pablo's out there. He's 
piss scared. He's all by his lonesome. Look at his fear levels all the way up. So the demon, you could possess the other characters, uh, the survivors. But you, it, it's a, at a tremendous cost to your sort of like points that you accumulate throughout the game. So you gotta be really smart about it. And it's pointless to kind of possess a person who's by themselves. Um, unless you just want to like waste their ammo, maybe you know something like that. But you want to possess a, a character so that they can uh, start unloading on their teammates. You know, you want other teammates around. Go back to the dark, you vile thing. Did he start it? To collect the lost pages of the Necronomicon. Pablo started it on his own. I mean, he's spirits. <clears throat> he's a that Pablo is good. Help this process. I got maximum. I just need a. Oh. Mm. Oh no. Don't even, bro. All right, I gotta help Pablo out here. How do I get out of this damn place? I can. Pablo's freaking. Yeah, he's possessed. He needs some support. Pages of the Necronomicon. Stay close. <laughs> Gave me the jump. There's safety in the light. The demon is. I'm gonna get that flute guy, where is he? I hear that flute guy. Who's just sitting in the car? That's bad. Oh, 
Oh, you're going after me, are you? Oh. Get me out of it. Come on, bro. Thank you. You have procured the lost pages of oh, the Necronomicon. The power of the book is within reach. Oh, this epic bad is good. You now possess the lost pages and Kendarian dagger. All right. You must face the dark ones. Now we're in this thing. I wish you <clears> the best of luck. It's great. the breach between our world and the next. How do you load this thing? Let's go. team. Kanda Samonda I got second. That's pretty good. With the recitation of the passage, the physical manifestation of this dog's finishers, has most headshots, most time spent on objectives. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, I got a uh, general level up too, so you get extra, you get like 10,000 extra points to spend every time you get a, your main level up top right there, it goes up. Might as well spend them. Spend them on Annie and get her all the way up to 25. She'll be the first one. And then, we'll see. Next 
six. I think I'll do the stamina. Actually, increase the fear reduction speed's good too. All right. All right, we can get at least one more in, right? Hella leveled up. Cheryl. Oh, good. Well, nope. Bad. I'm the guy with the gun. Time to party like it's 1981. And the thing is, pretty much every character has something good going on. I can't remember what Scotty's power is. That other guy, that other regular looking guy, I think Ed is the one who can disable traps. I can't remember. One or the other. Because the demon sets traps that generate um, soldiers, uh, but also increase your fear when you walk through them. It's like a jump scare. So listen closely. This is this Professor guy. Raymond Noby. The following are steps to be taken in order to dispel the Kandarian demon. Deviate from them at your own hazard. This will do, I suppose. There are several pieces of a map hidden nearby. Gather them to ascertain the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. You'll need them. Oh yeah. Sword right away. Ranged weapon. I hope crossbow this is not them. a bad start. So, uh, the crossbow actually, I think, has the most damage. In See, I think if the game had more of these, um, like spawn you in, here we go, boomstick. That. Uh, in areas that have sort of clusters of buildings so that the, um, looting is a little bit more, uh, easier for a whole team to start getting stuff. Your 
team has oh, located man, they the first page. piece of the map. A piece of the map. A solid first step. So where are we going? Lucky... Oh, lucky oh, they already marked it. Just fantastic. Anything in here? Did I already go through here? Oh, it sounds like Scotty just got in. and you're not going to tell me about the bruises. That's a great high mark. Wow. Oh boy. Hi there. Oh. Nobody marked that. Rude. Only Ash can use the chainsaw, so the other uh, survivor players. It's another perk that Ash gets. good. You have obtained another section of it. Surely, luck is on your side. Now we already got the third the piece. Stands between the you daggers and right the here. Look at these. Ritual items, the lost pages of the Necronomicon oh, and Kandarian us. dagger. Put this way, way pretty quick. This the collection of the Kandarian dagger has begun. This represents a grave threat to the evil dead. Oh shit! Be prepared to do battle. Oh, nice. Did Ash just exercise that guy? Which one is it? One of the Ashes has a power that he can exercise anybody. Exercise the demon from anybody. Oh. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Kill it. Yeah, this is my main character at the moment. Get her up to level 25. Darian Dagger, you are one step closer to defeating the spirits of the book. All right, killing it. Man, this is fast. We got super lucky with the spawn, objective spawn. Hey, Bon Williams, what's up? How's it going? You got your uh, King Shark, Gold Label King Shark. So, uh, the, it was the one you got, did it have a bloody mouth? Did we ever figure out what the deal was with those, like some of those coming through with the bloody mouth and others? I think the Walmart ones just didn't. Here it is, just the cabin. Oh, did we already get this one? the lost pages of the Necronomicon, transmitting a psychic wave to all corrupted souls. Hold your ground. Alright, this is the last time.
of being possessed by evil. Now. The group has obtained the lost pages. The living are one step closer to defeating the dead. Shredding it. Just shredding it. Great job, guys. I feel pretty good. Armed with the lost pages and the Kandarian dagger, you must now expel the dark ones from our realm. Alright, we're doing it. Okay, Cheryl, now let's banish evil. Everybody's getting their fear level crazy cut. You guys gotta not manage your levels, gang. Down, now we're back in the game. Okay, now there's like a tank, there's a tank guy, just regular Roman. You guys have got to get your fear levels now. It's no good. You better start that. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, come on. Man, I thought we really had it. The demon leveled up a bunch right there at the last. If evil Ooh, has triumphed, how do I do? 
Burp. Your journey ends here. Most basic As units, the most finishers, most headshots. That's pretty good. Pretty good score too. Wow. Uh, did I? How much did I get? Um, how many points? Did, experience points did I get there? Enough to put into anything? Won't make a difference if I throw them in here. Nope, not much drop in the pond. Alright, I think, yeah, we've been at it for about three hours. That's a pretty good long stream, I think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of uh, something different. This is fun to do. Next time we'll go back to Arkham. Uh, Arkham City. Continue that. But this is fun. Um, I hope you guys that uh, hadn't seen this game much yet enjoyed it. Uh, I had fun. And, yeah. That's going to be it, folks. Thank you to everyone who was hanging out and uh, chatting. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.